So today, in the number class, computer graphics in a question, first, first topic in the overview of computer graphics. So, computer graphics in the end product, the end product of computer graphics is the picture. So we can say that the Gohasi fundamental concept of computer graphics is the picture itself. So picture is the basic concept of computer graphics. So we should consider how these pictures are represented in computer graphics and prepared and presented and interaction with the uh, pictures are accomplished. So these four things are to be considered when uh, coming to computer graphics. How the pictures are represented, how the pictures are prepared, how they are presented in computer graphics and how the interaction with the picture is accomplished by the user. So first one, representing the pictures. In representation, we can say that point is the fundamental building block of picture. Point is the fundamental building block of picture. The equal importance is given to the algorithm also. So, point and algorithm are the basic building blocks of the uh, picture. In algorithm is the one that describes how to organize these points. Uh, algorithm or, uh, tells how to organize these points. For example, okay. For example, we want to draw a square, okay, a unit square. We want to draw a unit square. The uh, points are P1, P2, P3, and P4. Okay. The coordinates are 0, 0, 0, 1. 1, 1 and 1, 0. Okay, these are the coordinates. So, we can, uh, the or, uh, algorithm describes these points as either, this the square as either P1, P2, P3, P4, P1. So, the algorithm can describe the picture as P1, P2, P3, P4, P1 sequence. In this sequence, the square can be described by the algorithm. Or, the algorithm can describe these, uh, this square with the edges also. So, if this is E1, E2, E3, E4, okay, then E1 is the combination of or um, endpoints. E1's endpoints are P1, P2. Okay. Then E2's endpoint are P2, P3. E3 is P3, P4. And E4 is again P4, P1. Okay. So, algorithm can describe the square with the edge sequence like E1, E2, E3, E4. Okay. This is the edge sequence. So, uh, the dis uh, algorithm can describe this unit square with its points or by its edges or by the polygon itself. Uh, let This is the polygon S. So, S itself, the algorithm will describe the polygon with the edge. It can be either P1, P2, P3, P4, P1 or S is equal to E1, E2, E3, E4. Okay? The, so, the unit square can be represented with the points or with the edges. Okay. So, 
the uh, the building block the basic building block is the point of a picture so this point can be either represented by either as a pair or triplet okay these points can be represented as pair or triplet so pair is for two dimensional and triplet is for three dimensional if you want to represent it as three dimension then we will have three coordinate points x y z okay in this we will have x comma y comma z it is said to be a triplet okay 3d we will have a triplet coordinate and uh, 2d we will have uh, a pair that is x comma y okay so the second one is preparing pictures for presentation okay the we said that the fundamental uh, building blocks of a picture is the point and the algorithm itself okay the point and the algorithm so these point and points and algorithm which is used for uh, presenting the pictures are to be stored in a file okay the uh, this point and algorithm are to be stored in a file this file is called the database okay this file is called the database and very very complex pictures will have will be having very complex databases complex pictures will be having complex databases have complex database okay so for complex databases we will have complex algorithms okay for complex databases we will have complex algorithm okay generally it will uh, it will be having some data structure in it okay so the fundamental operations the fundamental operations which is okay first one move the pen uh, or beam invisibly to a point second one draw a line visibly to a point from the initial point okay then third one display a dot at that point okay these are the fundamental operation when considering uh, a point okay now the third one is presenting previously prepared pictures okay display file is the main concept okay display file means the data that is used to uh, used for preparing the pictures are called the display file okay the data that is used to uh, prepare the pictures is called the display file and all the uh, information and the entire database is is not necessary so we need to clip those Uh, unnecessary portion. We have to select only the portion that we need. Okay, for that we use clipping. Okay, so in this there are two main concepts in uh, presenting the pictures. First one is window, and the second one is viewport. Okay, what is window and what is viewport? Okay, when we are taking a photo, okay, using some camera. the screen on the camera is the window okay we we are taking the uh, picture from the entire database okay we are only selecting some portion of the uh, picture from the entire database that selected portion is called the window okay and uh, the thing that we taken from the camera is put into some devices okay that device uh, screen or rectangular area is called the viewport okay so let's consider the comparison between the window and the viewport okay first window is the rectangular area selected from the entire database okay this is the region rectangular area that is that we select from the entire database okay and viewport is the rectangular area in the display device where we place the content from the window okay the window contents are place in some rectangular area that area is called the viewport okay that is in the device okay then second one window is specified 
with the left, right, top, bottom edges. Okay, right? In the camera, we will have left, right, top, bottom edges. Okay? And uh, the third thing is window. It specifies what to be displayed. We select some portion what we need. Okay? It specifies what is to be displayed. Okay? In the device. Okay, so window specifies what to be displayed and viewport specifies where to be displayed. Okay, viewport is the device rectangular area. So it defines where to be uh, displayed. Okay, so window, the numbers, okay, the coordinate positions will be in floating number because it is real world, right? So it will be floating point number and in viewport, it is a device coordinates. So it will be integer numbers. Okay. Now we know it uses the world or user coordinates. Okay. World coordinates or user coordinates. In viewport it uses the device coordinates. These are the difference between window and viewport. Okay. Next. We will look at uh, the multiple viewports display, uh, displaying a single window. A single window is here and it will be displayed in multiple devices. Okay. Uh, this is an entire database. From there we will uh, select uh, some window portion. A rectangular area uh, from the world coordinates. Okay. So this is the window. And this window coordinates can be displayed on the display device. Okay. It can be displayed in multiple, uh, as a multiple, multiple viewport, okay. This is viewport A, this is viewport B. We can have multiple viewports, okay. So, this is the figure of multiple viewports displaying a single window. Next, the fourth one is interaction with the picture. Interaction means it specifies the degree of control over the picture. Okay. Interaction means it specifies the degree of control over the picture. There are two types of graphics. One is passive or we can say it is static. Okay. The second one is active or dynamic. So two types passive or static or act and active or dynamic. Passive or static means the user has no direct control over the displayed picture. Okay. The user will not have any direct control over the displayed picture. For example, for passive or static I mean, uh, graphics, we have example like the we are pictures, graphics that we cannot have a direct control. The user cannot have the direct control. The example we have is the advertisement. Okay. Okay. In advertisements, the users won't have any control over the flow of uh, data in that uh, graphics, right? So, that is passive or static. The second one is active or dynamic. It is the opposite of passive, right? So, here there is no direct control. The user have no direct control. Here, the user can control the appearance, structure, etc. of the displayed picture. That is active or dynamic. Dynamics means staging, right? So, the user can control the appearance, structure of the displayed picture. Okay? That is, user decides the flow of uh, data. Okay? The, uh, it allows communication. Okay? The example is... Video games. Okay. Video games, uh, the user can uh, control the flow, right? So, it is the example for active or dynamic graphics. Okay. Thank you.